Well, I came to find the Footpath Library after being homeless for about 10 years. I was starting to rely on food vans and suddenly this miraculous library turned up. I wasn't entitled to a library card at the time because I was homeless. I can't even put it in words. It was just extraordinary to be around people who were always positive, and I'd mention an author that I really enjoyed and suddenly that author would appear and it just felt very encouraging. It really started to make me reinterested in the idea of education and going back and doing my HSC, which I eventually did. Uh, I completed my HSC in, in 2012 after three years. It was a bumpy road, but I made it. I won quite a few awards and was quite surprised when I got a mark that would get me into my very first choice of art theory and arts and the idea had always been in the back of my mind since I was very young of becoming an academic in the arts but it never seemed like a possibility and suddenly it was. Uh, you know I feel like I've got a future now, I'm just being poor doesn't mean that's it. I really feel like I'm going to ultimately achieve my goals of becoming a, a lecturer and writing professionally and being involved with the arts and having those qualifications, um, which frankly had I'd sort of given up on. I think the one thing people forget, um, homelessness is such a big issue and just meeting people's basic needs takes everything um, from charities and government and this etc but you get in a to a point where you're being given everything you're being given food you need food so you turn up at the food vans and line up etc etc you need accommodation you're given it the one thing about the footpath library that sort of got me fired up over time was I'm not going to die if I don't have a book, but it's amazing to actually have the choice of taking one home. Something that I'm personally interested, that I don't necessarily need, but in an odd kind of way, everybody needs. <laughs>